Hey YouTube, it's me, Katie Caitlin or Katie Cupcakes, and this is not going to be a review. It's going to be something slightly different. I'm going to be doing a video on how I do a review from start to finish. I am actually just about to do a review. I've started, but then I thought about maybe this would be a helpful video to make. I am still currently looking for more artists. I would love some female artists. I don't have any. I still love male artists too, so whatever you are, I'll take you. And like I said, you might actually I've recorded this like 50 times so it's not like I've said my sister keeps coming in and disrupting but I don't necessarily like all types of music but I appreciate many types of music and many artists so even if I don't like your music as long as I can appreciate it and it's well thought out and thoughtful music I'll do a review but if there's really nothing I can say about it sometimes but for the most part I'll do a review on just about anyone that fits in with my channel Anyway, getting on with how I do a review. So the first thing I want to talk about that's super important is when you do a review, you need good headphones. I used to do these with iPod headphones, and I realized you do not hear every part of the song. Um, sometimes it doesn't really matter, like if you're doing an acoustic artist, it doesn't really matter, but with a lot of the dubstep and electronic stuff, like the review I'm about to do, it's important to use good headphones. I have Beats, or these are iBeats, and I also have beat solos in my cabinet but I don't feel like wearing them to the hat on. Either one works really well and I think those would be good. Anything when you'll be able to hear the bass. Um, you can't always hear the bass in songs with like iPod headphones you can't really um, and with like dubstep and electronic music it's really important that you hear it when you do a review. Sometimes the bass drop is like some people like make it so subtle and you cannot hear it with those so it's really weird. Um, but anyway, so good headphones, first thing I use when I do a review. So how a review works is an artist will either contact me or I'll contact them, we'll talk about a review and how many songs and what it's going to be, and then they will send me a media fire or an email with some songs in it. Um, so just even from anywhere from three songs to a whole album I'll do. Um, only one album per video though. Though I will be happy to do more than one video for an artist if they like what I do. I love making reviews, so. Um, I will not review covers, though. No covers or remixes. I can compare it to the original, but I cannot review it as their own. It's a little bit different. So what I do after I get the files is I'll put them in my iTunes under my playlist called Music to Review. So I know, like, those are the songs I'm going to review. And then I will either type it or write it on paper, and I'm typing this one because I cannot find my notebook, but I have a notebook that I do this in. And I will listen to one song and write down my thoughts as I listen to it for the first time, like there's like first thoughts. And then I'll listen to it again and write my thoughts after to get like my real thoughts on it. Sometimes I'll listen to songs 10, 11 times before I can officially say what my thoughts are on it. Sometimes it takes one or two times, so it just really depends. And then I will usually give songs a, a star rating out of five if I feel like I didn't say enough. But if I felt like I said a lot and you could get the idea, sometimes I forget to or something like that. So just um, if you want a review and you specifically want star ratings, let me know. Because some like when I talk to Austin sometimes, like when I'm not making my video, he just like rate these out of five stars for me when he's trying to figure out something. So like I said, even if you want a review and you don't want it on my channel let me know like if you need help figuring out like if this song is good or not just send it to me and I'll be happy to talk to you about it even if you don't want it on the internet um so yeah and so then after I write it all down I will record my when I record what I do is I listen to the song for like 30 seconds maybe with my headphones plugged in and then I'll take them out and I'll start talking about what I wrote in my notes and then any other thoughts from when I just listened to the song um, and they're always just like another last minute thought, so that's why I do that. Um, and so then I do that through all the songs, and once I'm done, I'll go back and cut out me listening to my iPod, and that's about all I cut out. Or if I say something really stupid like, pineapples smell like balloons, or whatever the heck I say. I ramble a lot in reviews and I cut it out. <laughs> but I don't ever cut out any real information. So that's... Then I go in and I'll add clips of the songs, anywhere from 15 to 45 seconds, depending on what I feel is necessary. Um, I usually will just do about 30 seconds, but sometimes songs are very repetitive and I'll do 15. Sometimes they have 
a lot of different parts and I'll do 45. It just depends and I always ask the artist to make sure it's okay. I use longer clips. So yeah. And then I just upload it onto YouTube with Facebook pages, YouTube links, um, iTunes links, whatever links they want in the down bar. And I tell people to just go like your page. <laughs> and that's just kind of how it works. So if you want a review of some sort, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do it for you. And if you have any questions on what I do, any questions on what I've said, questions on headphones even, like whatever you're curious about that I've mentioned, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer. Um, if you're interested in a review, send me a message on my page. Or you can leave a comment if you want, either way. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. I'm thinking about making a Facebook like page if people want one, like to talk to people who want to do reviews and stuff, though I feel like I'm not big enough yet, but if I get three more people contacting me to do a review, then I'm going to make a Facebook like page where you can contact me and stuff, um, because I don't necessarily want to be friends with like everybody on my Facebook page. My dad like constantly is checking my Facebook page, so yeah. But I just want a way for people to contact me that I can put um, links to on my page. So if I get three more reviews in the next month, th three people contacting me in the next month, um, then I will make a like page. So, And if you want a like page, just let me know in the comments because if people want one, I guess I can make one anyway. But yeah. So anyway, YouTube, that's all for now. And I hope this has been helpful and send this video off to artists that you know that are very underground. Anyway, love you, YouTube. Bye.